Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Larry and Tiz Huck. Yes. Happy New Year and welcome to today's broadcast. Now, listen to what I'm going to tell you because this, this is, you know, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. That's right. And so if you're watching today, it's not a coincidence yes. because there has been a tremendous Amen. curse broken Woo. and blessing released yes. off of your life and God has you watching today Amen. to find out how to live in this amazing blessing yes. that has just happened. Now, listen to me. Your life mm -hmm. is about to be blessed more than you can yeah. even imagine. Stay tuned. We're going to show you how. You know, the Bible says that, and, and you know, most, most Christians, most Western thinking people don't even understand what God is saying here. But God says, I place before you yes. life or death, right. blessings or curses, yep. choose life, yes. choose blessing. Yes. And, you know, because we're an educated society, we don't really understand the concept of blessings. Right. We do more blessings, bit, yeah. but not curses. Right. And there has been mm. a curse broken off yes. of your life. If you're a Christian, if you're a Jewish person who loves Israel, yeah. a major curse yes. has been broken. You Amen. know, one of the main teachings that, that I teach all over the world is breaking family curses, right. breaking right. generational yeah. curses. Uh, the iniquity of the father, right. the, 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 the curse of the father yes. passes on down to the children. Right. And in my book, Free at Last, talking about breaking family curses, we talk about, you know, when we think of a father, we can think of, you know, the, the, uh, our home life, our family, right. our father right. and our mother. But there can also be a curse yep. on who is the father of your city, right. who is the father of or mother of your nation. Right. And if the fathers of a nation yeah. do something against God's word, it right. brings a curse Absolutely. on the children right. of that nation. Right. And you're watching this program. I'm so excited, I can't hardly stand it. You're watching <laughs> this program at the beginning of January, right. the first programmings of January, but we're in the studio right now filming this on December 7th. And the reason why that's significant, Tiz, is yesterday we watched our president, yes. President Trump, yes. make a declaration to the world mm. that has broken the curse yes. that limits the blessing of God yes. on our nation or wherever you live Amen. when he announced yep. <laughs> that he is acknowledging yep. Jerusalem yep. as the capital of Israel. He's now now many other presidents have said they would do that right. but they never did it and right. What you need to remember is in Genesis, the same God that wrote John 3, 16, wrote Genesis 12, yes. and God said, I will bless those right. who bless you, Israel, and I will curse those yes. who curse you, Israel. Ooh. And our president Amen. released, broke a curse, Amen. and released a blessing, yep. and, and, and it ties in with Jerusalem's 50-year jubilee that we just came out of, we're yeah. going into Jerus uh, yeah. Israel's 70-year jubilee. I'm going to show you what all that means in numbers and a prophecy that God gave me yep. for our church here Amen. in Dallas months ago yeah. that we're heading into seven years right. of financial and spiritual yes. fat. We're going to talk about Amen. that. And, and you're watching today. It's not a coincidence no, no. because you need to understand 
what is about to happen. Amen. Things that, that yes. have you've not had a breakthrough, Amen. things you've been praying for yes. is the 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 ceiling is removed, Amen. the blessing is released. Yes. When our president, President Donald Trump, yeah. announced we are standing yes. with Israel, yes. we are moving our embassy. Yep. And we're declaring Jerusalem the capital of Israel. This has, mm. I will bless those who bless Ooh. you. You know, for all the people that have been standing with Israel, that we get we get letters and emails yeah. by the tens of thousands of people Amen. saying how yeah. blessed they are once they started yeah. being a blessing Absolutely. to Israel. Watch what's going to happen yes. now. And you know, if people are watching right now, Tiz, and they've never been a part of what we do yeah. to be a blessing Israel with the hospitals and the Holocaust survivors and the feeding programs yeah. and the and the children's homes and the yeah. bomb shelters and, and, and all that we do, you're, when you get involved, if mm. you think you've been blessed before, Ooh. wait till you see what, no the, and it's not a coincidence, Tiz, that we're talking about this at the very beginning right. of the year 19, or 2018, yeah. which 2018 is going to be Jerusalem's 70-year anniversary. It is, listen, it is, I, I believe a thousand percent, it is the beginning of the latter Amen. rain. There's going to be signs and wonders and miracles. Yeah. People are going to, in your family, people that, that God just dropped yes. into my spirit, people you've been praying for yeah. to get saved are going to get saved. Amen. The financial breakthrough that you've been waiting for yeah. is coming. And I'm not ashamed yeah. to talk about financial miracles, no. uh, physical miracles, family miracles, financial right. miracles. There's been a delay. Right. But the right. delay is gone. Amen. Our president has <laughs> stood with Israel Glory. and made a declaration. Mm. And, and by standing with Israel, he's not standing against no, no. the Palestinian people. Oh, he's no. not standing no. against anybody. No. He is just saying what God's word has always, always said, said. Yeah. that Jerusalem was the capital. Yep is the capital and always will be the capital of Israel. Amen. It's an amazing Amen. time. And what a way to launch the new Boy, year. I guess. You know, Larry, on that, I want to make sure everybody understands. Nothing is coincidence. There is no coincidence, there is no coincidence. with God. But the fact that we are doing these programs for January 1st of the new year right. is mind-boggling, really. It's amazing. Because the avos of a thing, which you always teach, the beginning of a thing, determines how it ends exactly, and determines the way it goes all the way through. Right. So that all this happened and we're filming right at the beginning of the year. Whew, the, the, the Avos, what you're talking about, the Avos is, is the father of something. It's the beginning of right. something. And, and everything that follows all the blessings that are birthed. Yeah can't be birthed right. without the beginning, right. without the Avos of it. And so, for this to, to be the beginning of the year 2018, Ooh. which launches Jerusalem's or Israel's 70 year anniversary. anniversary. And, and if we have time uh, w this month, we'll talk about the number 10, the number seven, the number 70. <laughs> we'll talk about 1948 yes. from creation, yeah. 1948 after the birthing of our Messiah, all of these things match identical. Incredible. And at the same time, we have announced that America yes. and Christians around the world are standing with Amen. Israel Amen. and Jerusalem is yes. the capital. You know, when we come back, I'm going to talk about the world said, here's where your Bible fails. Right. This will never happen. It will never happen. Yeah. It's impossible. With man, something may be impossible, but with God, nothing, nothing. is impossible. Nothing. And that's why you're watching today because we're going to pray for you. God's going to release on you a faith yes. that what is impossible to happen in the Ooh. natural, just like Israel becoming a nation, Amen. just like <laughs> Jerusalem becoming the undivided capital yeah. of Israel. That same miracle God yes. is going to do miracles Absolutely. in you. Now, we're going to go over to our announcer. We've got 
several things. We're going to, and what a neat time. Yeah. Is that we're working, we have been working. We're doing, we're doing so many things in Israel right. and it's such a blessing. Yeah, matter of fact, I, I, I received several emails yes. from Jewish brothers and sisters, yeah. both in Washington, D.C. and in Israel yesterday yeah. when President Trump made the announcement yeah. and saying, thank you, Pastor Larry, Pastor Tiz, thank you, Amen. all your partners. You standing with Israel yes. is a major reason why yeah. God did what he did exactly. and our president made yeah. a stand, stance. And, and so we've got gifts for you but we thought what, and, and you know, we didn't even plan this. We no, didn't know this was going to no. happen. One of the things that God said is the desert will bloom. Yeah. And we're doing so many things in Israel with the hospitals, with the children, with the Holocaust survivors, yeah. with the Aliyah program of right. literally filling an airplane, filling airplanes, yeah. the ambulances that we're building to save lives in Israel. Yes. And, and by the way, it's not just Jewish lives that are saved by these ambulances. It's Palestinian lives, yeah. it's Christian lives, yep. it's across the board. Yes. And, and it's such a neat thing that on this program of announcing our, our, our standing with, with our president on him and now celebrating of him announcing Jerusalem as the undivided capital of Israel, we're also fulfilling a prophecy in partnering with a friend a Jewish friend over yeah. there that is literally making the desert bloom. Mm. I mean, you, you talk, and when we read you the scripture out of Amos, yeah. and the, the the land that we're we're helping to make, literally is desert to make right. it bloom, right. is right outside the town of Amos, right. that where the prophets spoke. Right. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So we have all these different gifts, and, and the announcer will tell you about them, but this is really cool. Last year, Tiz and I were took a group to Israel, and anytime you go to Israel, there's an anointing. Absolutely. But we were there at the time right after the Jerusalem Jubilee. Yeah. And we taught in Capernaum on the Jewish roots. Where where did the, the discovery of the Jewish roots yeah. to me come from? Right. We talked about Magdala. We preached in Magdala where the woman said, if I could touch the hem of his garment, listen to this. Mm. There was a lady yep. on our tour yeah. that came, she just got, tell, tell the people. Well, she just had a diagnosis of breast cancer. Got the diagnosis, the doctor said, we need to start treatment right away. And she told her doctor, I'm gonna go to Israel with pastors Larry and Tiz, and I am gonna have them pray for me, and God is gonna heal me. She goes, I appreciate what you have to say. I'll see you when I get back. Yeah. We'll celebrate my miracle. Yeah, and so we were teaching at Magdala where the woman said, if I could touch the hem of his garment. It's just recently been yeah. unearthed right. a, a few years ago. Yeah. And a dear friend of ours, a, a priest, uh, gave us access. And I was teaching on the woman touching the hem, yes. the tallit of his garment yep. at the very spot that it took place. Amen. And I was just ministering. And, and I don't know all the people on the tour yet. You know, they come from all over the world. Yeah. And I grabbed this one lady as the woman with the issue of blood. And she touched them of his garment. In fact, we've got pictures and maybe we can show it. Whereas while I'm teaching, and I didn't know it was that she had cancer. Right. I did not know yeah, that. No. And you can see her touching the hem of my tallit. Yeah. When she got back, she was healed. Amen. The doctor said the cancer is yep. gone. Amen. And so every time we go to Israel, there's a special anointing. Yeah. But listen to me prophetically. When we were there, every place we taught, there was a special, special anointing. Yes. And now I know why. <laughs> We're going in to Israel's 70th anniversary. The number seven, the number 10, the number 70 is supernatural. Amen. We're gonna talk to you about that. That same supernatural anointing. When you bless yes. Israel, yes. this blessing, listen to me prophetically, is going to explode mm. supernatural miracles in your life. Yes. We'll be right back.